607 right now, and it's time to get fishy because eating sashimi is a New Year's tradition here in Hawaii. Dallas on the Veras joins us live from the fish market with today's big catch. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Ross. Yes, fishy in the best way, and this is such a great way to really wrap up the year of 2022 and what can get us hungry for this weekend, which is why we have our friend Michael Goto. Good morning, Michael. Morning, Dallas. Happy New Year, by the way. Happy New Year, sir. So you've been hanging out with us throughout Wake Up Today for the last two-something hours. Tell us about today's catch. When it comes to really finding the price of the fish, what qualities do you look for? So for tunas, you know, it really comes down to the color content of the meat, uh, is, if there's any fat content, overall freshness of the fish itself, uh, which uh, determines shelf life. Uh, that are really all factors. Those are the three main factors that go into what a buyer is perceiving a value of fish to be. And as an auctioneer, what I'm trying to sell the fish at at an optimum price. And each fish is different, but does weight or size matter when it comes to determining a price, or it's really about the quality? Uh, quality is the main factor. Size can uh, factor in as well, because generally a lot of the bigger fish can have that fat content. A lot of the smaller fish don't. But it's still, it just, just still varies. It's, it's uh, fish by fish, and that's really what our auction system is about, about maximizing each individual fish, even though they're all uh, very different. Where's today's catch from, by the way? Uh, so these are from longline vessels who are going, you know, a couple hundred nautical miles, at least uh, outside of uh, the Hawaiian Islands. Um, it, uh, right now, I think the majority of the boats are south of the islands. Uh, we're seeing a lot of yellowfin tuna, which is uh, uh, kind of indicative of uh, where they're fishing right now. But, uh, you know, these vessels are often taking about a three-week average trip, so you know, they're going three, four, five hundred nautical miles sometimes just to get to the fishing grounds. But, uh, you know, it's just a matter of where the fish are because it's a migratory species and, uh, you know, they have to find the fish wherever they're, wherever they're having to be going. It's so much hard work, very interesting and also impressive as well. But as far as the year 2022 goes, we'll get into the challenges, but what were some of the highlights of this year? Well, uh, one of the big highlights for our company was it was the 70th anniversary of the founding of United Fishing Agency. Uh, founded in 1952, you know, we've been around three different locations, inclu including Pier 38, where we're currently uh, situated. Um, other than that, you know, it was just a matter of trying to get through, you know, the post-COVID, into the post-COVID era. We're, I think, into a recovery point at this, at this time. Uh, obviously, we talked about the inflation of food, which helped uh, vessels, because they need to pay for their expenses. Uh, Funding a fishing trip is very, very expensive, especially with, you consider, fuel prices. And, uh, you know, these boats are running on diesel, and it's very, it costs a lot for them to go out fishing and supply uh, the community with this fresh seafood. So we do our best at United Fishing to be able to, again, maximize the value of their catch so they can continue to fish throughout the year. You know, there's so many factors that come into play and also the domino effect that we've seen as well when it comes to the prices. But you're still going to be hanging out with us throughout Wake Up Today. We appreciate your time, Michael. No problem. Uh, here all morning. All right, and we'll give you another look in just about 30 minutes. But if you want some more information when it comes to celebrating the new year and everything that we've been following here at the Honolulu Fish Auction, you can visit our website at KH12.com. Reporter over here at the scene, Dallas Navarro's KH12 News, working for Hawaii. Thanks for the update. Some great insight, Dallas. All right, coming up next, we're working for Hawaii with a live look at the roads at this early hour and more on that final weekend forecast for the year.